Boyle's law is a gas law which states that the pressure exerted by a given mass of gas at a constant temperature is inversely proportional to the volume occupied by it. In other words, the pressure and volume of a gas are inversely proportional to each other as long as the temperature and the quantity of gas are kept constant. Since temperature is constant, pressure multiplied by volume is equal to constant. Finally, if P1 and V1 are the initial pressure and volume of a gas, and P2 and V2 are the changed pressure and volume. We can write as P1V1 equals P2V2. This relationship is very useful to determine the volume of any gas at any given pressure in the cylinder. We can apply Boyle's law to measure the cylinder content based on the pressure gauge reading. A typical E-type cylinder has an internal volume of 5 liters. This is the volume, V1, of an E-cylinder. The reading on the pressure gauge gives us P1 for that volume, let's say 1500 psi since the cylinder is being used. The atmospheric pressure, P2, is 14.7 psi. All we need to calculate is the volume of uncompressed oxygen V2 in cylinder. We can now use the Boyle's law, P1V1 equals P2V2, so V2 equals P1 multiplied by V1 divided by P2, so V2 equals P1V1 divided P2. Replacing with values V2 equals, 1500 into 5, by 14.7 is equals 510 liters, an E cylinder with the pressure gauge reading of 1500 psi contains 510 liters of oxygen. There is a linear reduction of the oxygen volume as a full type E oxygen cylinder at a service pressure of 1900 to 2000 psi contains 660 to 690 liters of oxygen. In the earlier slide, we calculated 510 liters as the amount of oxygen left in the E-type cylinder with the pressure of 1500 psi. From this, we can estimate the duration the cylinder will last. Let's say we are using oxygen at the rate of 5 liters per minute. If we divide total volume by flow rate, we can get the time remaining. 510 divided by 5 is equal to 102 minutes or 1 hour and 42 minutes. There is however a better way to calculate the time a cylinder will last at certain flow rate. For this, we use conversion factor which is the maximum volume divided by maximum pressure of a cylinder. The formula to calculate the time a cylinder will last is by multiplying conversion factor and current cylinder pressure divided by flow rate. First, let's calculate the conversion factor taking maximum volume of E cylinder as 660 liters and maximum pressure or service pressure as 2000 psi. The factor we get is 0.33. Let's take the same example from the previous slide. Using cylinder gauge pressure as 1500 psi and the flow rate as 5 liters per minute, we get 0.33 times 1500 divided by 5 is equal to 99 minutes or 1 hour and 39 minutes, which is the same time. But it is advised to use the conversion factors the manufacturers provide. 